Hey guys, welcome back to the Mind of Brandon, and welcome back to another No Meat Monday. As indicated by the title of this video, Morningstar Farms Veggie Breakfast Bacon Strips contain animal products. So when I first started making a transition to a plant-based diet, I was real excited to come across this veggie bacon stuff in the grocery store. But then I noticed that on the packaging, it said it was vegetarian. It occurred to me, well, vegetarian isn't necessarily vegan. So I flipped it around to the other side to check the ingredients. And it turns out that this veggie breakfast actually contains animal products. There's some milk and egg in there. I remember when I first read that, I was just like, wait, milk and egg? Those aren't veggies! Don't get me wrong, there is such a thing as plant-based milks, but when those are in the ingredients, it specifies the plant source. So it'll tell you if it's almond milk or rice milk, soy milk, oat milk, cashew milk, coconut milk, hemp milk, flax milk. Right? It'll tell you the plant source if it's a plant-based milk. Uh, the way that you know that this is dairy milk is if it just says milk. But with so many different plant-based milks that can be used as an alternative to the dairy, why use the dairy? There's like no point in doing that. Granted, if you're buying a plant-based milk at the grocery store, there's this tendency for it to be pricier than uh, you know, buying an equal amount of the dairy milk, but you can actually make your own plant-based milk for like way cheaper. Each example of plant-based milk, of course, has an array of different ways that you can make it. Some of them can be more complicated, but the point here is that each one, of course, also has a very simple, straightforward way of making it. Take, for example, oat milk. You can throw a small amount of oats into a blender with some water, hit blend, and then you just strain it, separating the pulp out from the milk. There you go. Uh, I'm not going to promise that this will be the most delicious beverage ever, but uh, it's certainly something for Morningstar Farms to try out uh, as an alternative to dairy in their veggie breakfast bacon strips. And of course, as I established in last week's video, you can buy 113 servings of egg replacer for cheaper than you can buy 113 eggs. Also, let's keep in mind that when you buy animal products, you're basically voting with your dollar to needlessly contribute to deforestation, global warming, and the enslavement rate torture and slaughter of innocent animals that didn't do anything to hurt you, whether you realize that's what you're doing or not. This is something to keep in mind for anyone that went vegetarian for the animals, right? If you're, if you're buying this veggie bacon stuff that has milk and eggs in it, uh, well, basically, you know, maybe, maybe you're not contributing to the enslavement, rape, torture, and slaughter done unto pigs, but you're still contributing to the enslavement, rape, torture, and slaughter done unto cows and chickens while simultaneously contributing to deforestation and global warming. Now, I don't point this out to ruin Morningstar farms or make them lose money or anything like that. I'm pointing this out to give them incentive to switch from the dairy and egg to the plant-based alternatives. You don't have a good reason not to. Why depend on these archaic methods that harm both the environment and sentient beings when you can more cheaply switch over to clean, cruelty-free, plant-based alternatives. So I want everyone watching this video to go over to Morningstar Farm's YouTube channel and tell them to swap out their dairy and egg for the plant-based alternatives. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with other people. If you're interested in watching my future videos, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. So have a good one, guys, and peace.